Cool, now let's take a look at Portable Class Library. So Portable Class Library, I have a project here. And this project, as you see, the structure is slightly different. So this time I have an Android, Windows 10, and WPF application, which all do the same thing. But this time I have another project, which is, if I go to check the properties, you will see that it's a Portable Class Library, which is supporting .NET Framework, Windows 8.1, so it also supports Windows 10 because Windows 8.1 and Windows 10 is the same profile. Again, it's a little bit confusing with the profiles, but you have to know that. And Xamarin Android, Xamarin iOS, and it also automatically supports Xamarin Mac. So basically, same project, but this time it's different because if I want to add a file, I just add the file to this portable class library, then automatically it is available everywhere. I don't need to add shortcuts everywhere, so it's more comfortable. And then, of course, you need to maintain your references. So here I have a reference to this data library. Then in the UWP, I have also a reference to this data library. And finally, in the WPF application, as you can expect, I have a reference to the portable data library. OK. Good. I'm not running that because it's exactly the same uh, example. So it doesn't really matter. But just to show you those two strategies. Okay.